Hello everyone, Jeff Eccles here with TheLonelyVine.com. See what I did there, mixed things up a little bit, threw in a new opening. Uh, let me know what you think. So, Monday must mean blind tasting. I'm just gonna get right into it. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna get right into it because it's cold outside. Temperature's been dropping, snow on the ground a couple days ago, 20s in the mornings, 20s at night. Not sure I'm ready for it, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do. So, hoping this one's a red wine, actually. I, I saw the cork. It is a red wine. Hopefully it's a warmer red wine with a little bit of alcohol in it that'll maybe warm up, warm my belly up a little bit. So, let's get into it. So, you know, you've see, probably seen a couple of my interviews uh, shows that I've done down at Vintages with Erin. She's been trying to stump me. She's been going after me hard on the blind tastings lately. So let's see what she uh, cooked up for me with this one. So uh, looking at the color, you know, this is a little bit, I kind of poured a heavy pour, but it doesn't look too terribly see-through. Um, you know, it's, it's a uh, you know, it's, it's that ruby color, but it's pretty dark. Again, it might be the pour, but it seems like it's a little bit darker than what uh, you see a lot of times. Definitely not, you know, getting into that Sangiovese Nebbiola problem that I always seem to run into. So that's a good start. Now, let's see what my nose can get in this bag. Definitely getting a lot of red fruits. There's something else there too. So this is an interesting one. I'm definitely getting red fruit. I'm getting cranberry. Um, but I'm getting a lot of, uh, there is that cranberry. There's that really tartness coming through with it. There's something else I don't, I need to go in one more time, probably 20 more times knowing me, but at least one more time to see if I can try and pick this up. There's a nice cherry in it as well. There's also, you know, this, this uh, stewed fruit kind of component, you know, something that's been cooked a little bit. So it's telling me this might be a warmer climate wine Yeah, those are the three biggest things I'm getting. I'm getting that cranberry, uh, I'm getting the cherry, I'm getting that stewed kind of fruit, like you, you know, threw some fruit into a pan and started cooking it and just let it simmer and go throughout the day. Maybe we're on a picnic and smeared it all over the table and the sun baked it in a little bit. You know, so there's a little bit of that raisin in there. So just on the nose, I'm thinking more New World, and I'm thinking a little bit warmer climate. <clears throat> Let's see if the palate helps me out at all. You know, and there's, I didn't really look at it before. There's a little bit of staining, but not a lot. Uh-oh. A little bit higher alcohol content on this one. Um, you know, tannin-wise, that was kind of the first thing I was really looking for. Is I, am I going to get a lot of tannic structure on this to kind of help me out? I'm not seeing a lot. Let me, uh... You know, there is some, but it's not real drastic. There is, uh, you know, there's a nice acid to it, but it's not overpowering. That cherry component is really coming through. 
Um, I am getting that cranberry, I'm getting that tartness to it. So really mediums kind of across the board on, on the things that I'm picking up on, you know, as far as like tannin, acid, balance, a little bit um, of alcohol to it. Hmm, I'm not picking up. So there's some other telltale things that I'm looking for. I'll try to speed this up a little bit. I know I'm going a little bit long. You know, if this was gonna be like a Merlot or something like that, I might pick up uh, some, some black olives, right, Jeff? Stacy helped us out with that one. You know, so um, it doesn't really have the color I would expect, or many of the components out of a Syrah. It doesn't have, um, I don't think this is a cab. It doesn't have the rim that I would expect out of a Malbec. Hmm. It is, you know, as, I, as I've gotten a little bit out of it, you know, it is a little bit more see-through. Um, you know, so this could be a Pinot, but I don't, I don't think it is cheating wise because it's a cab bottle. I can tell that. Um, You know, I, I, it doesn't have any of that, you know, that bubblegum kind of thing that I would, I would expect uh, out of a Gamay. But I am, um, I'm really, I'm really going to be stuck on this one. Um, okay. Don't, I'm not thinking Sangiovese. I'm not thinking Nebbiolo. You know, this may be, I think I'm going to go Southern Hemisphere on this one. Um, maybe Australia. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Australia with this one. And I think I am. Um, one last attempt here. I just have this feeling, you know, and maybe it's just a punt, um, but I think I'm gonna say Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon, and I think I'm gonna say Australia, and I think I'm gonna say 2010. You know, I don't expect this one to be right at all, uh, but well played, Aaron and Daryl. I know you guys kind of work together on this one, but let's see what we're looking at here. What was the first one I said? Merlot, of course. Uh, so Washington State, 2009 uh, Merlot. Emmy Merlot uh, from Walla Walla, Washington. 13.9% uh, by alcohol. Yeah, those Merlots. Damn you, Merlot. They, they, that is a tough one. You know, it, it kind of has a lot of the thing, you know, and. So I think back to everything I said, it's kind of medium across the board. It's got some, you know, and that's kind of, you know, you got your cab and then Merlot is kind of like it's stepbrother, you know, little brother, um, you know, in, in, in the sense of, of picking things out of it. It kind of has a lot of characteristics of cab, but not to the level that cab does. So I probably should have gotten that one, but well played, Aaron, nice job. Um, Okay, so speaking of vintages, Thanksgiving's right around the corner and they're putting on a fun little contest. So I'm gonna link uh, to, the, to the vintages site 
to a contest where you can win a bottle of wine, free bottle of wine. Uh, all you have to do is we've got some stuffing recipes out there. You just have to pick which one looks like they're be the best. This guy is right here. And uh, so it's just email address, which, which wine is best, Jeff's Pinot. I don't even need to say it. And uh, you could be entered for a chance to win free bottle of wine. And hey, if I win, I get one too. So hey, winners all around. So um, I think that'll do it for the show. I'm going to need a little bit more of the vino. Hope you're having a great, great week. I hope you're all staying warm. And until next time, everybody, cheers.